Man, shit said somebody got 16 bags of chips just going like this while the shit playing. Like, where's they going? I'm out West Burma, fuck. I'm, I'm out here. They got me out this motherfucker trying to deliver packages to these racist ass motherfuckers, man. Man, listen, man. I ain't fucking with Indeed no more. If you looking for a job and you want Indeed, don't pay Indeed no more. Because Indeed, oh yeah, they hire felons and rapists and all that. I see why. They put you right in the field. There's no way in hell. I'm an hour and a half from where I'm cool at. There's no way in hell. They got niggas out Lakewood and down Freehold, New Jersey, and all that. Jackson, what the fuck? Jersey on some nut shit, man. That nigga's racist than a motherfucker. Like, they gonna send my black ass out here. All the white motherfuckers we got at the warehouse. Send new motherfuckers out here. Keep me local. Like, it's, I didn't see shit. I've been working for like two weeks. I didn't see so much shit, man. It's, a, it, it's ridiculous out this motherfucker, man. No cap. This shit crazy. Like, I didn't even know the mob was real. The, the mob is real. For those who like, the mob, yeah, the niggas with the suits, it's real. The mob is real. I walked right into it and couldn't even walk the fuck back out of it. That's what I'm telling you. I'm like, I know, because I, I got the package, right? Fucking package say fucking, uh, rare or something. So I, I'm like, fuck. So I take it to a barbershop. I'm thinking, you know, a little Hispanic boy cutting hair out jerseys. This is package. I leaves it with him. The box like this big, right? I leave the box with him. I run out, go back to the truck. He run out like, no, this ain't mine, man. This ain't mine. So I come back out. I'm like, well, damn. This ain't 69? He said, no, man, that's next door. I'm like, all right, bet. It's a pizzeria. I don't pay no mind, right? I walk in there. There's five niggas at the table smoking cigars. One bull standing up behind the bull saying, damn. So I walk in the pizzeria. So I'm, like I said, I'm not really thinking about what's going on. I'm moving real quick. So I leave the box on the table. Like, hey, you got a package left on the table, try to run out. And I try to run out the fucking door lock. The door had a little buzzer on it. I'm like, wow, a piece of store got a buzzer on it. I got the AirPods in, so I don't even know what I just did. I put the package on the joint, so you got a package, try to dig it out. Door don't open. So I'm like, what the fuck? I take the AirPods, I turn around, all six of these niggas standing up. I'm like, what the fuck going on? I'm like, yo, I'm just trying to get a body here, you got a package. So he busted the door. I was delivering the package from one of the enemies or something. So he like, what the fuck is your name? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like I work for, you know, Amazon. He looking outside. Take him in the back. I'm like, oh, see, so I'm taking him in the back. I'm like, oh, listen, I ain't with that litigation. Pause real quick, real fast. I don't know why, but when I'm scared, I just think, as long as it ain't no gay shit, I'm gonna be all right. I don't know why, but that's just my way of thinking. Like, if I'm scared, as long as it ain't no gay shit, I'll be like, all right, but you gonna be cool. As long as they don't do no gay shit. So when he said take him to the back, I'm like, hold on, I ain't with that gay shit. So the, so the boy who had the cigar, I'm guessing he the mob boss. Like, he on some, he on some crazy shit. Like, what the fuck is your name? I said, my name is Richie. He said, no, shut the fuck up. What the fuck is your name? So now, you know, Italians talk with their hands a lot. So no bullshit. Boy, he ain't fat as shit. I'm thinking, this nigga about to smack me. He gonna put me to sleep. I'm just telling you right now, that nigga ain't fat as shit, but he's short. He keep asking me what the fuck is my name. Every time I say something, he tell me, shut the fuck up. So I'm just like, I'm confused. So I'm trying to... Reason with another one of them listening, my nigga keep telling me, shut the fuck up. I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding. He tells him, get the knife, get the knife. I'm like, oh, oh, my hope they ain't about to gut me on some nuts. I'm thinking they about to gut me. He get the knife, right? He pulled shoot out. He said, give him the knife. He said, open that box. I'm like, well, it's your package. You know what? He said, open the fucking box. I'm like, what the fuck? So now at this point, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is in this box that these niggas scared like that? This, this is no bullshit. I'm like, what the fuck? So I cut the tape off the box. I open the box up. They all, they all grabbed the pistol. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So at this moment, I knew, oh shit, these niggas is mobsters. Okay, bet. So all that fully shit I be talking about, oh, oh, we the mob. Y'all niggas not no mob. These niggas don't play. I don't know what made y'all think that y'all was thorough enough to even say that y'all the mob because y'all really not. You get what I'm saying? So I cut open the box. I take the, I take the box out. It's a box in If I pull a box, that's a box of cigars. So the bull's like, he said, oh, man, I fucking, I fucking, I thought that was Fat Tony in a fucking box. I'm like, what? No, man, what the fuck? He, man, I know, you know, everybody, everybody in town, you know, you got a Fat Tony in the joint. I'm like, wait till I'm, 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 he said, I'm sorry, I thought I was fucking Fat Tony in a box. I'm like, well, how big is Fat Tony? Because this box literally was shit. So not the whole fucking body, just the hat. 
can't fight for our drone even three days. We didn't nobody see for tell We thought that was the half. We thought that we thought the enemies got back. I'm like, what the I'm like, listen, I work for him. I ain't got nothing to do with no beasts, no wars, and nothing. I just deliver packages. You get what I'm saying? He gave me a fucking free slice, told me I could go in, so I'd take the slice. The slice was good as shit. Probably was coke on the slice, but that shit was good as shit. Like I'm like, yo, that's the best pizza I think I ever had. You get what I'm saying? Real shit. I'm like, yo, this job I can't. I ain't supposed to be out here. One fool got the fucking shotgun. I'm in a, I'm, I'm on a block. I couldn't find an address for like 10 minutes. I'm like, well, who the fuck is this address at? So I peep, I see the mailbox. Now, if you familiar with out of Philly, you like all the mailboxes be on the street and the cribs be like in the road. So I see the mailbox. I'm like, all right, man, I go up the driveway. Fucking crib like a mile down. I'm like, what the fuck? So I pull up. I hop out again. These fucking AirPods gonna get me killed. AirPods all man, got the package, put it on the door. I'm running back to the truck. I get in the truck. When I go to back up, main man behind the truck with a pump. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, come on with this bullshit. Not to mention, this ain't all happening the same day. You get what I'm saying? These different days in the course of two weeks this happened. So this ain't all happening the same day. I would have been quick. You know what I'm saying? Because when I was getting trained, they had me local. They was doing easy shit. Oh, yeah, you want to be around here? Little Lane Horn area. You know, don't worry. Too much. No, no more than 10 minutes. First day by myself, go an hour and a half by yourself. What the fuck? Man, they're behind a motherfucking truck with a pump. Dirty ass beater on and some motherfucking uh, Balenciaga cargoes. The reason why I say they piss, the reason why I say they fucking Balenciaga cargoes because they was big as shit with big ass pockets and they looked dumb. So you know Balenciaga make dumb shit like that. So he had on this dingy ass beater looking like Joe Dirt. Got the double barrel pump with the mullet. Y'all know what the mullet is. It didn't look like Joe Dirt for real. So again, I take my AirPods out. I rolled down the window. I ain't getting back out. I'm like, I ain't getting back out. It didn't got a pump to the back jaw. That shit won't blow through all this little still enforcement they got. So I'm like, yeah, man. I just delivered your packages on the door. He said, boy, you know this is private property. No, I, I don't. I don't even know what private property is. You know, I'm from North. The crib house, the sidewalk belongs to the city. I don't know what the fuck he was on private property. Listen, son, you got a package. My brother said, no, you could have left it at the mailbox. You don't want my property. I got hard grounds to shoot you. Technically, he do got hard grounds to shoot me, but at the end of the day, I'm delivering your package. Go get your fucking butt ointment, because I'm pretty sure it was ointment. You get what I'm saying? I can fill it through the package. It probably was ointment. He probably got all types of rashes on his ass. Listen, your ointment on the step, man. That nigga said, Ch -ch -ch. how you know about that? Oh, shit. No, listen. It was a bad joke, you know, it was a, it was a bad joke. It really was ointment though, but I was joking with him. Like, yes, he ointment on the step. He cocked me back. He about to blow my shit off. So, you know, I had to get up out of that. This It's just been crazy, man. Like, it's just been too fucking much. And then I'm in a Jewish neighborhood. This fucking lake would get on my nerves. Now, y'all know how we trick and treat Halloween, right? We give out candy and all that, little candy for the Halloween kids, little trick and treat. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, um... The Jewish people don't do that. You know, Halloween just passed for them. You know, Halloween's like a week ago for them. I didn't know. So I'm delivering packages. There's all these fucking Jews, these fucking Jew kids. That's what I call them. Fucking Jew kids running all in the street, all over the neighborhood. Some of them got on costumes, some of them don't. So I'm delivering the package. Young boy come up with Miami. And he said something in Jewish. I don't know what he said, but he ain't say trick or treat. He just had a fucking handful of money like this. This is no cap, one lie to you. Young boy had a whim in his hand like this big. Now, this is what I'm telling you. I don't know, it was 20s, 100s, bonds, every bill you could imagine in his hand. And he said something. I forget what the fuck he said. He had the money in his hand like this and went like this. Like, I'm supposed to give you money because that's how they trick or treat. They get money. They don't get candy and all that. They give them money. So, in my mind, I'm like, all right, bet he the only he the only Jew kid on the block right now. As I'm looking, I'm peeping blitz. I'm about to jam his dumb ass. You get what I'm saying? But I ain't want to... I ain't want to jam him. And then they say, like, oh, shit, you jammed the kid. Now I'm in Jewish neighborhood. They're going to hit me with all types of sticks, have me all in the jail. They own everything. But young boy had at least 5000 on him. Talk about something, I give him some money. I'm about to jam you another ass, young boy. You know where I'm from, young boy? You know what I'm saying? I pull him by his little curls to the fucking concrete and stop his little ass, take that little five bands from him. But I ain't want to get caught in the act. They got that neighborhood watch shit everywhere. Like, listen. These neighborhoods are so protected, they don't make no fucking sense. They got neighborhood watch cameras everywhere. It was bad. So, you know, I thought about it. I said, all right, I ain't going to fuck with young boy. 
I ain't giving him nothing though. I, I, I drove off on him. You know what I'm saying? This shit, this shit be, shit be crazy, man. They got me out west, bummer fucking, and then, then, then the part that be fucking me up, right? That's the part that be fucking me up though. Like how I, I be getting jealous and shit, right? I, I'm in Jackson, New Jersey. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm in Jackson, New Jersey, right? Man, I, I got a fucking package to deliver. But the way it's set up on the June is like it's the only house on the block. Because normally on the app, you, you know what I'm saying, it show you the addresses that's next to it. But on my, on my June, it's just saying, like, for some reason, it's the only house on the fucking block. So I turn up the block, and as you and as it said on this June, the only house on the fucking block. That's what I'm telling you. Y'all niggas got to stop hanging on each other, stop shooting and killing, stop worrying about these Philly bitches, nigga. When I tell you, it's more than like this nigga house was the whole fucking block. This is what I'm telling you. I was shooting to the picture. The nigga house was the whole fucking block. The nigga had four driveways. One like loop around that way, the other one loop around this way. He had one big ass house. When I tell you this nigga had like four four bitches out that motherfucker, two Range Rovers, a real pickup truck, and an RV. Bro, I'm stuck like dog, like dog, like do this nigga own Amazon or something? Like, what, like, the, like, is this the Apple owner? Like, the shit was, it was, yo, it blew my fucking mind. Cause I'm like, yo, I'm not doing something right. I'm telling you, there's no way this nigga's living like that that I didn't know about. I never knew, like, that shit was, it was passive agent. I never seen a fucking house the whole block. I never seen that shit in my life. It, it fucked me up, so you know. I wanted to meet the nigga, but there wasn't nobody home, and it was already seven cars in the driveway. So that means they got eight? Like, how the fuck is seven cars in the driveways and ain't nobody on? I wanted to meet the nigga. I wanted to see, was he an athlete or something? I don't fucking know, but the name was dumb as shit. He could have been like a linebacker or something. I don't know. But this shit crazy. Then, <laughs> there's so many fucking stories to tell. This shit is ridiculous. They give us this fucking shit called a fucking rabbit, right? Now, the rabbit is a device you use to scan packages, take pictures, call support. <laughs> dumb shit like that, right? Now, you gotta scan all the packages or you can't move on to your next stop. You don't know what your next stop is until after you finish one, right? So, I'm so used to hearing the noise when it's scared, they go like doo doo. But what I didn't notice was it make the same noise when it don't scare. So if it's like, if, if it's the wrong box, it'll say doo doo. If it's the right box, it'll say doo doo, right? So I was the pages, I'm going on fast. They said doo doo. I said, fuck it. I got out the car, I'm handing it to the customer. I give it to the customer, right? I look on the device and said it wasn't scanned. So I can't go to my next crib. The customer got the box in the house. I'm like, shit, it's all right, skip. Nope, you can't even skip. Man, I can't even close this shit out till I get the box back. I knock back on the door. I'm like, how you doing, man? I'm sorry, real fast. Uh, the, the box I gave you, yeah, I need to scan it. She gonna say, oh, I'm sorry, I already threw it in the trash. <coughs> okay, that's fine, just go um, we'll get it out the trash real fast. Let me scan it and I can get out your hair. She's like, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's in the trash, man. I didn't know you meant this. I thought you know you scanned it when, when you know you gave it to me, you know. Weren't you supposed to scan it when you gave it to me? There's a lot of things that I'm, I'm supposed to do, right? And smacking the shit out you is, is not one of them. So, you know, I'm going to say it again. Just go in the kitchen and get the box out the trash. She's like, yeah, um, yeah. I'm not going in the trash. Is there any way, like, you know, you can call support and then you guys can handle it? You know, I'm, I'm a little tired. I got off work. Bitch, you know. <laughs> I'm going to go get the box out the trash to scan it if you don't go get it. She said, um, I'm going to go wake up Stan. I'm like, okay, well, who the fuck is Stan? You know, I'm like, okay, his name's Stan. <laughs> Smack the shit out of Stan. I don't give a fuck. Don't wake Stan up. Like, I can't move on. I can't do shit until I scan the box anyway. <laughs> I'm like, all right, well, go get Stan or Stan, whoever the fuck you just said, whatever. I don't give a fuck. His name's Stan. I'm smacking the shit out of him from the rip, man. I'm going to go to the kitchen and grab the box. That's my mindset, right? I'm waiting in like a dumbass, you know. Yeah, come on, Stan. Cause I know guys more understanding than females. Females just be some bullshit. I'm like, listen, Stan gonna come downstairs. He gonna understand. Yada yada yada, right? So I don't know what she went upstairs and told Stan, but Stan come down in some ball shorts and ankle socks. 
but he like a little, like he a little stocky boombaki, but he ain't, he don't look dangerous though. He look like one of those retarded stocky boombakis, not like I really knock niggas out boombaki. So again, I wasn't really scared. So I'm like, how you doing, Stan? Real fast, man. I had to scan the package. Come to find out, I didn't. I just need the package box back so I can scan it and, and just go away. He's like, oh, okay. he's like, okay, sure. Where is it? I said, the wife said it's in the trash can. He was like, oh, heck, but I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's in the trash can. I don't. Really, it's not, it ain't too much we can do about that. Stan, what the fuck is Stan? It's in a trash can. Stan, go get it. Stan, we gosh, you can't dig in a trash can, Stan. He's gonna say, oh, you think you got a regular trash can? Wait, <laughs> it's it's advanced trash cans. He said, oh, dude, that's why. Okay, I, yeah, we don't have the trash can that you put it in the bag. No, man, we put our trash in in this little you know disposable thing, and it takes it right down the street. What? Man, it's been out for years, dude. I'm like, what the fuck? I said, no, I don't mean to be, you know, overstep my walking, but you mind if I come see that? He said, yeah, come on, see it. I goes in their crib. They don't even got a fucking trash can. The shit look like a fucking, a, a big ass mailbox. And you put the trash in there and the shit slide down somewhere. I'm, I'm in that motherfucker like, dog, there's no fucking way. Again, y'all think y'all done seen it all? Y'all think that y'all burnt out? What's I'm telling you? That, I was in that motherfucker like, you get the fuck out of here. He said, yeah, man, that's why she couldn't get the box. You know, I don't know if you think she was being smart, but yeah, she, she couldn't get the box because it's, it's already, you know, down the street somewhere. We don't know where it goes. We just put our trash in. I'm like, this nigga's got Uber trash? I said, so that's Uber trash? He, he started cracking up. He said, no, man, you know, I, I, I never, I don't, I don't know, you know, kind of bearing with me to the house, you know. It's just, I don't know for Uber trash. I'm like, what the fuck? I had to call support, explain to them what happened. Customer support bullet, this nigga from fucking, he, he, he must be from Pakistan. And I don't know what the fuck he talking about. Like, my thing is, why do these people make American businesses but hire motherfucking overseas people to talk? That's ass backwards if you ask me. If I'm black, my phone should be programmed to say he's a nigga, put a nigga on the phone when he calls. Well, I don't want no fucking Pakistanian T-Mobile boy on the phone. They say the most dumbest shit to me. I'm like, listen, man, I forgot to scan the package. Okay, so, so, all you have to do is scan the package. I said, listen, we don't have the package no more. The customer got it. Okay, so, 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 ask the customer so you can scan it so you can keep going. You're not listening to me. The package is gone. God, only God knows. I'm sorry, uh... God knows. I said, only God knows. Yes, God. God don't know. What? You know what? Bye. Fucking gave up. Went back to the fucking warehouse. I only had four stops after that anyway. I didn't know. I just gave up. And, you know, I'm new. So I can just act like I don't know shit. And now I get a little pass. A little pass in the back. So I get back. I got to check out with Amazon. I'm like, yeah, man. I'm done. He said, yeah, man. It's four packages undelivered. <laughs> I'm like, four packages? Yeah, we got to play dumb as shit. Wait, wait, wait. Four packages. I'm gonna check my truck. I ain't seen no four packages. You gotta walk back to the truck and act like you're checking and all that. Like, oh shit, with four packages, right? Well, it was three. Two with the, uh, it was five of them. Two with the same house. So I'm like, oh yeah, those ones, yeah. So it was a dog loose in that neighborhood. So every house I pulled up to with the packages, the dog was by the door. I remember y'all saying if y'all being chased, you know, skip it. So I skipped it four times. The dog still was following me. I just headed back. And she was like, yeah, so I'm so, you know me, I'm capping. I'm like, yeah, it's a dog loose. I, I couldn't deliver it all. She says, okay, that's fine. Um, just next time, make sure you scan the packages. And I and, and I walked off. But I knew she knew because she was trying to be smart. She said, okay, well, next time, make sure you scan the packages. I'm like, okay, she caught on. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But this shit, this shit, nothing. And then one, one lady thought I was taking a picture of her ass. Like, this shit is dumb at this fucking job sometimes. So, if you ever deliver for, you know, Amazon or anybody else, right? After you deliver it, you know, you gotta, you gotta take a picture of where you delivered it at. Rather it's in front of the door, side of the door, man, and take a picture of wherever you delivered it at. So, I put the package down, right? And I'm looking downwards. So, the lady come to the door 
and I got the phone up trying to take a picture of the package and my tongue out. Why my tongue was out? I don't even know why my tongue was out. I really don't know. Now you rush it. Like, even, even when I'm writing like real fast and I'm hype, I, I had my tongue out a little bit. Like I don't know why. But I was taking a picture and my tongue was out. So when I so when I took the picture, the shit make a loud ass chick ching chick. It makes a dumb ass noise like that, so it was loud enough. So when I took the picture, and she was at the door, she thought I was trying to take a picture of her ass. She's like, excuse me, did you just take a picture of me? And I'm like, no, I took a picture of the package. Now, I should have said this box, because that's what it is, but, you know, they call them packages. When I said, no, I'm taking a picture of the package, she just thought she was a snack. She was the covering custom. I'm like, I'm like, man, the pack, the box on the ground. I was taking a picture. I said, no, you take a picture of my package. But this is unbelievable. I'm calling Amazon. Bitch, what the fuck did you call Amazon for? I'm telling you, this is my job. I take a picture of the package when I'm done. This bitch thought I'm trying to take a picture of her ass. I'm like, yo, it ain't that deep. First of all, bitch, you like a fucking laundry bag. I don't know if Earl or Stan fucking you at all because you look like a fuck, look like Birdo. So if, trust me, I ain't taking a picture of you. You get what I'm saying? Real rare. Right? Like, oh, man, I ain't fucking worried about you. Oh, shit. One little bitch, right? White bitch. White little bitch, probably like 23, right? She, uh, I'm in a driveway. <laughs> I'm delivering a package. She pull up in a fucking Grand Cherokee Hellcat joint. Shit look different. Whatever you call it, trail. Whatever. <laughs> she hop out. <laughs> Ted fucked up, right? Listen, face red. I'm talking about, it looked like it was an accident. Like, her shit was bloodshot red. I'm talking about red like a Creon. Like, her whole face was just so fucking red. And her lips was just real, like, like she got stung by a bee. I get it. AirPods in. Took a picture of the package. Turns around. She caught me right off guard. I said, whoa. And she was like, what, you know this? Oh, my God, can you know this? Huh? Did you know this? I'm like, all right, Rich, you got two decisions right now. You can act like you don't know what the fuck she's talking about, or you can just say, yeah, I know this is horrible. I ain't a bad guy, you know? So I went with the act like you don't even notice it. I'm like, uh, what'd you say? I said, did you notice it? Notice what? This, oh, oh, cause I heard you say, whoa, I thought that you, I thought that you see this and I, and I just got really insecure because, you know, I told the girl 15 minutes, but I was, I was in it for 30. So yeah, so I thought you was, no, you, no, I, I wasn't worried about that. I said, well, because you startled me. You know, so I changed my whole account. No, you, st <laughs> I said, oh no, 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 you startled me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, I need a Grammy, man. I'm like, oh, no, no, you're fine. I'm, I said, well, because you startled me. Like, oh, okay, thank you. And thanks again for the... No, no problem. I got in the car and like, oh, my fucking God. Bitch. This is what I am telling you. I'm glad we got our own complexion and we do us because... Listen to... Listen, I, that bitch looked it bad. Like, that bitch was just bloodshot ring with big-ass college gentle one of these lips. It was bad. I had to act like I ain't even see what the fuck was going on. <coughs> Hold on real quick.